Hello, Josh Laddick here. I am going to be going through GSA eBuy today. A lot's changed in eBuy over the years, and uh, particularly, you know, in recent times. Uh, we're sitting here at the end of January in 2022. Uh, so, if you're a uh, distant in the future, uh, maybe eBuy has changed uh, even more. So, uh, let's jump right in. It's actually a very easy and somewhat intuitive site to use. They don't clutter it with too many. Uh, uh, too many you know functions and everything like that it's very pared down functionality wise and there's really just two things that it does you can adjust your profile so once you log in and everything and you do need to log in with your GSA number and all that I kind of skipped ahead on this um, but I'm assuming you have access to eBuy if you don't have access uh, go to the bottom of the eBuy page and there'll be an, a phone number an email you can kind of reach out to them and get some help um, Profile is the first area I wanted to go through. Uh, you can click on that and you will actually see, uh, you know, you'll see uh, a rundown of, of the name, the, the name, the phone number, and the email assigned to each of the different SINs and whatnot. So um, this is where you can kind of, you know, make, you, know, this, you can configure it however you, you'd like. And I won't go too much into that, but you can add to it, you can modify subgroups. Uh, get, there, there's uh, some pretty good. Uh, functionality there so let's say you know one sin goes to a certain salesperson and another sin goes to another um, most of the time they're all going to the same person and sometimes it even makes sense to create a GSA at your company domain uh, web uh, or email address to capture everything related to eBuy um, just to kind of have everything in one central place um, but that's not always the case. But yeah, you can also see manage up here, manage mobile alerts, contracts. Um, so profile is where you go just to make sure that the opportunities are sent to the right person by email, they're sent to the right place. Uh, the, the other three up here basically all do the same thing in different ways. Um, RFQ, so let's click on this. There we go. And this will actually take you to the area where you can view. Let's move my head over here. You can view the different RFQs that are available to uh, to bid on. So if, if we click on one right here, it takes just a minute. Uh, you can actually view the who, what, when, and where about this opportunity. So you can see there's a reference number, issue date, this close date is very important. Um, this is the deadline. You got to make the deadline. Uh, off to the side here, you see the categories and the delivery right there. So there's a brief description. You want to read through this and you can see who's purchasing it, U.S. House Representatives, construction program analysts. So they're, they're looking for something in particular. And if this isn't something you can fulfill, uh, you can simply no quote it. Uh, if it is something you want to pursue, you can do review, submit, you can save draft, discard, uh, changes. You, you have all of these options up here in these very colorful buttons, and they stay right at the top of the page. Uh, now, if you are interested further, uh, let's say this is in your wheelhouse, uh, and you, you, you do want to learn more, you can download these attachments, and that's where a lot of the, you know, this this is a very short synopsis. Uh, the the very uh, granular details of the project and what they're looking for are going to be found in here. Uh, same goes with the uh, details that they're looking for from you regarding the proposal. So pay, you know, be very, uh, you know, pay, pay very close attention here to the, the details in this. They may have some requirements that are abnormal and you want to make sure that you include those in your proposal or it may uh, you may lose out on the opportunity just for a silly reason, such as they asked for you to upload a capability statement and you didn't do that. Um, the point of contact is right here. So if you have any questions about it, let's say you you read through the synopsis, you download these documents. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and send her an email or give her a call and just say, you know, hey, a couple questions about uh, this opportunity, RFQ 1536178. Um, and yeah, she should be able to help out with that. When it comes to uh, submitting your quote, this is the next kind of area down here. These are a lot of the details. Uh, it's all pretty straightforward and, and uh, I'd say pretty clear. Uh, you can attach documents. That's important to know. 
uh, you also can in upload some line items and that's uh, also an important part of this as well um, so yeah that's about it as far as you know submitting you just make sure you click the big button at the end and get a confirmation that it is submitted uh, it'd be it'd be terrible to go through all that trouble and for it not to go in um, you can watch this RFQ um, this one's pretty late stage uh, we only have 19 hours left so less than a day um, I wouldn't email her I would call her you know if if, uh, if there was if, if there were any questions um, so yeah pay attention to the deadline that's always important of course um, so that's the RFQs up here if we go to my quotes you can manage the quotes that you have submitted in this area and then RFQ finder pops up a little uh, little search uh, search bar here let's say uh, your my quotes area is just loaded up if you want to search for a particular RFQ number you can just enter it in there and it will populate um, so that's it this has been a run through the, e the GSA eBuy system um, and hope you found it helpful uh, I don't interface this too much so if you have any you know uh, very you know if you have any questions beyond this I would recommend reaching out to the GSA uh, you can uh, you can get their number let's see let's just if you scroll down this is where you can find the help uh, area right there um, and yeah so that's it thanks so much for watching